Hi, it's Kelly Sparta, the Spirit Doctor. Uh, and I am here to talk to you today about a question that I got from a listener. And what they asked was, what is a solitary witch? And what does that mean? And it's a very simple question, but it also has a lot of complications to it. So uh, very simply, being a solitary witch or a, or a Wicca who is a solitary practitioner is to say that you're doing your practice on your own. In Wicca, it is fairly common for people to work in groups, uh, typically of, of a coven, right? And a coven is defined typically as 13 witches. And, uh, you know, one of which will be a high priest or priestess, and the rest will be coven members. Uh, occasionally, they'll have one of each, a high priest and a high priestess. Um, and they work together and they do workings for a common purpose, right? So they'll celebrate sabbats and they'll do, uh, you know, rituals and rites together for the different, um, you know, the moon cycles and things like that, right? And uh, sabbats are, are uh, the, the um, quarters and the cross quarters and Beltane and Samhain and things like that. And if you are curious about those, you can listen to those on here. Uh, you'll find them earlier. Last year, we did an entire series on the Wheel of the Year, and so you can learn about that there. Uh, but the, um, the upshot is that a solitary practitioner doesn't do that. They work on their own. Now, why do they do that? In many instances, it's because they don't know other practitioners. And because in the area that they live in, it may or may not be safe to out themselves as a Wiccan because they're living in the Bible Belt or something like that. Um, but in other cases, they do it on purpose because they have been to some of these uh, covens and the, and, or maybe they've been to one coven and, you know, Covens are like families, they can be functional or dysfunctional, right? And if you happen to be a member of a dysfunctional coven, and it's your only experience of it, then you may decide that mm, maybe not so much for this, right? And, you know, even if you've tried, you know, a couple of them, you know, there's a lot of them that, that don't actually... There are, in my experience, and granted I have limited experience, so be very clear that I have limited experience, but I have seen more dysfunctional covenants than I have seen functional covenants. covenants. And therefore, you know, a lot of people choose to be solitary. I will, however, say that when you have a functional coven or a functional circle, which is less than 13, right, then it is a beautiful thing to witness. It is a fantastically lovely, beautiful space to be in. And having been in a couple of those, I can tell you that they are very healing and very fulfilling to be in. And so the, the thing that I would say is that if you are a solitary who has decided to be solitary because of the dysfunction you've seen, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I understand. And don't give up because it is totally worth it to find people who you truly vibe with and you can make things happen with. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you are new to this practice and you are just, you know, getting your feet wet, I would really encourage you to go to my website at kellysparta.com and pick up your free copy of Boundaries for Empaths. That will help you to establish your boundaries more effectively. It will help you to not feel run over by other people's strong emotions. It'll help you to feel more comfortable in large crowds. Uh, many, many things. It'll help you to feel safer in your life in general. So uh, it is a super simple process. It's a single, you know, a PDF that will explain the whole process to you. And if you stay on the mailing list after you get the download, then you'll also get some coaching calls. Or, there, there's recorded coaching calls, a, a call around it. And then there's also uh, additional information that comes out that helps you with it as well. So if this is new for you and you're really trying to, to get control of your empath abilities, then this would be a great place to start. And I'll see you on the next call. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate. Have a good one.